All right, you guys, hello, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so, so, so excited to be doing a little bit of a reveal for you guys today. Today, I am going to be showing you all my very first Hermes piece, actually. And this one has kind of like a wild story, so I'm already in deep with the, I guess, Hermes game. But yeah, I'm so excited to be showing you guys. I'm also gonna be telling you the story of how I got it and the journey that it took. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that we are all done with that, obviously the shoes came with two separate dust bags. Both have the Hermes logo on them. It looks like this. It's like a nice little chevron pattern. These are probably the thickest dust bags I've ever felt in my life. And then I obviously have the shoes here in question. So these are the Hermes Chipre sandals. These are like the most sought after sandal right now at Hermes. I know that for a fact. And I happened to get mine in the black with the white. I think this is called Blanc. But yeah, I like the contrast on these. And I guess to kind of tell you guys all about the story on how I got them. Initially, we came into Hermes all the way back in October. So it has now been about five months since I put my name down on a pair. And the first pair that I actually tried on were the um, fuzzy, like orange Hermes Chipre sandals. Um, they've had them available at my Hermes, and I went to the core location at Holt Renfrew in Calgary. And yeah, basically I tried them on, I fell in love, I almost bought them, but that day I decided to hold off on it and I decided that it would be more worthwhile just to get it in a black leather. That way I can actually wear it in the summer because I feel like it would be a little bit silly. As much as I love like fuzzy things, if you guys know me, you would know that. It just didn't seem worthwhile to spend about $1,200 <laughs> on fuzzy um, Hermes sandals. It just looked a little bit more like house slippers. Um, and I just wanted like a leather pair again, just because of longevity of the product. And I feel like it would just go a little bit longer um, through the seasons and things like that. Obviously like for the spring summer, I was looking for a pair of shoes that I could just wear and be comfortable with. Um, there are quite a few, quite a few comparables on the market right now. Another pair that I was really interested in was the Chanel Dad sandals. However, I do have a gripe with Chanel and in what world is Chanel more expensive than Hermes? But those shoes are literally double and a bit more than these shoes. So in my mind, it was just like a clear thing. I was not gonna get the Chanel sandals because there's no way that I would ever, ever, ever pay two grand for a pair of dad sandals. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of where I draw the line. So initially I put down my name for a pair of all black Chipre sandals that obviously would just be all black. Top of it was leather as well. These come in a bunch of different materials. So 
You'll find them in things like the Epsom leather on the top, or you'll find them in like all suede. There are just so many different combinations. I couldn't even tell you all of them because I don't even know what they make and I don't even know what's available. It also changes just throughout the seasons. And personally, I just wanted something that would be classic and that I knew that I would wear for a very long time given that I am spending a pretty penny on these shoes right here. So a thing that I wanted to kind of, again, kind of backtrack on is the fact that I put my, I put my name down initially all the way back in October. I kind of, obviously the months passed and I was kind of just like, to be honest, I feel like they had kind of forgotten me at a certain point and it kind of just like, you know, was on the back of my mind. I was planning on coming in eventually and then asking if, you know, my name was down or if they just forgotten. But yeah, it wasn't like, you know, I live in Alberta. It's, it snows and it's pretty cold and our winters are a little bit longer. So it wasn't necessarily like I had to have it right now. Basically five months passed and then one day my mom gets a call from Hermes saying that my item was now available in the store and that my item that I basically special ordered came in. So we, we went last week and I tried on the all black pair. I'm gonna insert the clips here and I was immediately heartbroken. The size that I'd wanted which the size was, uh, which was the size that I tried on in the fuzzy slides, they were too small. And it was just immediately, I was like, my heart shattered and I was asking if they had any other available sizes in the store, obviously it was a hard no. And I think the reason for that is because the fuzzy pair does not have a lip light, like right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it lifts up to where your heel would be. Um, with the fuzzy pair, it just goes flat like that, more like a bedroom slipper, I would say, whereas these ones, they definitely do have the indents here and there where the footbed is, and then also obviously where the heel is. So my heel was literally going past like this, and immediately I knew it wasn't worth it and that it wasn't my size in the first place. I have had certain instances where I've like forced myself to get certain pairs of shoes. Um, I had a Saint Laurent pair of like, cross um, velvet sandals a couple years back, but honestly, they just were not my size no matter what I did. And it's especially evident on a pair of sandals. So I was just like, nope, I'm not taking these. Could you please put me down for a pair of, I wanted to go like a half size up initially. So then a different essay was helping me out at the time. She put my name down and I thought, okay, that was, that was it. I can move on and kind of just leave. She told me that there were about five or six other people ahead of me. And at this point, I was just kind of getting a little bit impatient. I wanted to buy these sandals specifically because I do have a vacation coming up and I obviously wanted to wear some new sandals for vacation. First world problem, I know that. But it was just like, okay, I'm probably not even gonna get it for the season that I initially anticipated to get them. So I just put my name down anyway for the all black pair and went around the mall. I was with my parents and we just basically just kind of went around the mall. My dad was like, see if they have any other color in stock that you could just try on just to see if you're, you're still ordering the right size, um, which, was a, which was really good advice. And I'm glad that I took that and I'm glad that we went back. So I went back in. The store was packed by this point in time, but I really just wanted to try on another pair. Um, lucky enough, they had a pair um, in the half size up, which was the size that I'd ordered in the all black, but they had it in the white and black. So I tried it on. Surely enough, it was still not the right size and my heel was still peeking out just a tiny little bit. Um, and at this point, I was just like, are you kidding me? Like I was so ready to buy these shoes today. And so I really just was like, it was not my day to buy shoes. Our second essay was extremely helpful. And she said, well, listen, like no one else is on the list right now for these shoes. You could probably get them as early as next week. She's like next week or two weeks after the fact. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. So I put my name down. Um, I decided to get the white and black instead. Honestly, these, I think I like the contrast on these a little bit more. They're very like, they're more catchy, that's for sure. I think once you notice them on your feet, they just look really nice. 
I have like fluffs from my carpet <laughs> on the back there. But um, yeah, so that was basically what happened. You know, the week goes by and then surely enough, I got a text message saying that my item was now in the store. So um, with this, I guess the real story is that it took me about five months and like two weeks to get the shoes. It might be a little bit difficult to get them just in time for spring summer it really is like luck of the draw and i feel like that's the huge thing about hermes um but at the end of the day i'm very pleased and i don't regret my choice one bit with the white and the black like this so um another thing that i guess i wanted to mention obviously we all know and love the hermes Oran sandals the reason that i went for these sheep brace is just because my feet are a little bit wider um, so I feel like the Orans are also like a little bit more, um, they're very like dainty. Don't get me wrong. I love them. They're very classic. However, I will say this, um, my feet don't look too good in them because again, I have just like a wider foot and I think also like the sheep brace just read a little bit more like youthful to me. I'm turning 25. I just wanted something, you know, that I could wear for like a really long time. These are also extremely, extremely comfortable. So there's no breaking in needed with these. Um, the footbed, I would say is more of like a rubbery material. It's I can't tell if it's like leather or if it's just like rubber, but the bottom of it is rubber and it's really comfortable. So I walked around in this store a little bit, kind of just paced back and forth. Obviously just wanted to see. I've had issues with certain sandals in the past kind of cutting me um, where the leather is, like especially around the pinky toe for some reason and like also around this general area here. Um, hopefully I don't have that issue with these because they are pretty wide. I also like the fact that these are adjustable so you can definitely you know adjust them to your liking if you have a wider foot or if you have a slimmer foot these are definitely nice and adjustable so you do have that option whereas obviously if you'd gone for the um for the orans you wouldn't have that option um and then another thing that i just wanted to mention is um to kind of backtrack on sizing and just my story in general I had to go a full size up in these so definitely if you are able to I would suggest you try them on in store I'm so glad that I went back the second time just to try it because I would have had another pair that was way too small like a couple months down the line and I feel like I just wouldn't have gotten these sandals at all and I am fortunate that I have an Hermes store just 20 minutes away from home um, so yeah definitely if you are able to try them on if you can if not um, I would say if you have a slimmer foot, you can go like just a half size up, especially with these leather ones, because again, there is a lip here where your heel is supposed to go. Um, for the fuzzy ones, I was able, I could have been able to go true to size if I would ended up with those, but I was paying a pretty penny on these. Obviously, you want to make sure that they are in the right size. So I personally am just so excited to wear these, get the use out of them. Um, I want to style them so many different ways with dresses, skirts, denim. I wear denim all the time. I think these would be extremely perfect. Um, but yeah, one more for how these look. And if you guys have any other questions pertaining to these shoes, any sizing questions or anything else like that, let me know. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done a luxury unboxing and reveal in a very long time. I feel a little bit out of the loop with it, but honestly, I feel like they are the kind of videos that people find the most informative, at least on my channel. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any, have any questions at all regarding the Hermes Jeep Ray sandals, don't be shy, leave a comment down below and I will try my best to get to you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.